Hello, Cool community, and welcome to Cool Academy's very first QEN workshop. Here, queuing the Cool Academy or anyone interested in beginning their path to crypto investing. My name is Amy, and I am one of the founders of Cool, the next top charity token on a mission to make an impact combating food scarcity and economic crises through education and through the Cool community. Today's QEN workshop voted specifically from our cool community themselves, I want to present to you guys your safety guide from the next shitcoin. You guys all know these exist in the crypto sphere and they are something that we all want to avoid. So I wanted to give you guys a quick little checklist of things that you guys can do to present your, prevent yourselves from getting scammed or rug pulled by the next shitcoin. As many of you guys know, cryptocurrency has really made its wave in financial investing. As many of you have seen, it's normal for a cryptocurrency to jump by double digit percentages in a day or even a single hour. Now, while Bitcoin does see this sort of a price action from time to time, many of you will note that most of these gains are much more commonly seen in altcoins with much smaller market caps. With the right, e right coin, you can easily double, triple, and even quadruple your gains in a matter of minutes. However, with so many new tokens being created, how can you prevent yourself from falling trapped to the next shitcoin or rug pull? And before going any further, I do have to mention, I am not a financial advisor, meaning everything in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Feel free to speak to your financial advisor before making any financial moves. So let's proceed. So far this year, over 2.6 billion have been victim to scam or rug pulls, according to chain analysis, myself included. So I've created a checklist that I want to share with you all of what you should do to steer clear of the next shit coin. Poo coin, text tools, coin market cap, and coin gecko are some of the different tools I use for gathering information when determining the next altcoin to invest in. You can also find gems in Reddit posts, threads, uh, Telegram groups, Discord. Um, TikTok's a really big thing for investing now. You can really just look and find these investment gems anywhere, but it's just the research that really matters. So I wanted to really create this this checklist for you to kind of steer you in the right direction. So let's begin. Number one on the checklist, make sure you check that liquidity. Now, what exactly is liquidity? Liquidity will help you determine whether you will be easily able to buy or sell the cryptocurrency yourself. Low liquidity can either mean this is a newer project and hasn't gotten the traction or support from the community yet, or it can just mean that the coin or token is just not of interest. Small coins, you know, when coins are initially starting off, they might have a small traction. You do want to be careful for those liquidities that are super massive in the beginning and they just completely deplete. So liquidity is a really, really, really major thing that you have to look out for when investing in these coins. Number two, is the liquidity locked? PooCoin is a great source of truth for this. They have features that will indicate big holders that may make the coin or token at risk of being a rug pull. I can quickly show you guys these uh, features on PooCoin. So as you can see, Avalanche, weird name, check out for those names. They can be, you know, as you can see here, liquidity is very low. It's $1, right? But, and you can see here, there's this feature that PooCoins has that can tell you whether a holder is holding a significant amount that can have you at risk for a rug bull. This is what you want to look out for. Uh, and this is a really big indication of being a, you know, rug bull. As you can see here with our cool coin, yes, we do have a small liquidity, but as you know, we just you know launched two months ago and we're slowly making our traction back. Um, as we mentioned earlier, just because a coin has that low liquidity doesn't mean that it's a possible gem. It can have its gains in the future. So that's definitely something that you wanna pay attention to, those big alerts. Um, another great coin that we like to look at is Elon Gate. Um, Elon Gate has 
great potential. I'm just trying to move my little screen share here. Um, but Elon Gate here, as you can see, their liquidity is significant also. 2,500, or I'm sorry, that's 2 million. Um, they have a really big liquidity, but as you can see, they're, you know, their liquidity and their liquidity is locked. Um, no alerts there. So this is a great coin that you can invest in. And that's for number two, is the liquidity locked? Usually um, people use deep locker or different kind of locking tools to lock. Um, they would usually typically advertise this on their website. Um, whether they have a portion locked, they will provide links. Um, you can check out all of Kua's locked. Um, we use deep locker and we have that all advertised on our website. Check it out on www.kuacoins.com for any locking periods that we do have. Uh, we have um, locking for pancake swap and whatnot. So go ahead and check that out. As for number three, is there any volume? Volume is so important for everything, right? Um, are people actively trading? Keep in mind that trading volume in cryptocurrency should not be viewed as the actual number, but a portion of the market cap of the coin itself. Anything with the trading volume of less than 10% is considered very low. And remember, keep in mind that just because a token is not being actively traded doesn't mean it should be counted out as a gem. There could realistically be a situation where the token or coins is new to the market with very little support, but is seeing all the right tunes when it comes to the other checks. Also be aware of market manipulations. We've seen this plenty of times where it seems like the trading is active, but they are using some kind of bots. The, the owners themselves or the developers themselves are exchanging between wallets to wallets to making it look like it's real trading taking place. These are all things that we want to be aware of. And I'll be posting a video you know, soon about these kind of manipulations that we can keep out for. And that's number three. Number four, are there any whales? A whale is a term that refers to individuals or entities that hold enough coins or tokens to cause a significant impact on the market price, either by buying or selling large amounts. Let's look for instances where holders are holding high percentage. Anything over 25 to 30% is considered a high percentage and considered a whale as they have a very, very big impact on the market, whether they buy or sell. And Actually, you can go through Poo Coins and you can easily see um, right here on the left hand side here, if you go to holders, BSC Scan actually breaks down the percentage per holder per wallet, as you can see here and cool alone, we have only 20% um, on the biggest holders. So great things. Let's see. Moving on to number five is the team docs. This is what you want to make sure of. Does the project have a good social media presence on Telegram, Twitter, Instagram? When someone's using documents, public records, social media comments, and online activity that, to expose their real identities, that's them showing that they are real people and they believe in their project. They are not hiding behind an avatar or some characters or some alias. Um, oftentimes you'll see you know, them linking their their social media via LinkedIn, via Instagram. As you can see, if you go to Cool, let me quickly show you Cool. The team is very well doxxed. Let's see here. This is what you really want to look for, our amazing team, of course, myself included. Um, but you can see here that the team is very well docked and they have their LinkedIn all there so you can check out who they are. And moving forward, number six, honeypot checker. So you want to make sure that there's not a honeypot, right? Um, and what exactly is a honeypot? So a honey a honey pot is when a smart contract pretends to leak its funds to an arbitrary user or victim, provided that the user sends additional funds to it. However, the funds provided by the user will be trapped and at most the honey pot creator attacker will be able to retrieve them. Retrieve them, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure that you or anyone has, or a lot of us have been victim to a honey pot. And what it really is, is when you buy a coin, you buy, and you're seeing, you're seeing it go up, 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 up. And when you think that you want to sell, 
you are unable to sell. That's a honeypot. When you aren't able to sell, so you never make an investment, you just lose all your money and you're watching, you know, you're watching the gains go up and there's nothing you can do about it. It's the worst feeling in the world. I've fallen victim to this many of times. Um, and what I use typically for this is there's actually this tool called rug.io that I use and um, very neat tool. All you do is take the coin or token that you are interested in investing in, um, plug it into the honeypot token checker here, search it. And as you can see here, it fit, it checks to see if it can sell the token. As you can see, it you know, clearly states failed to sell the token. This is very likely a, a honeypot. Also other things, the contract is not verified. This is usually a very red sign. So stay alert, stay away from anything that, you know, doesn't pass this little honeypot checker, doesn't pass any of the other five um, checklists that we mentioned earlier. Um, but yeah, this is a tool that I typically use for um, when I'm looking into you know, new altcoins or new gems to invest in. Token Sniffer is also another tool that I use. I actually came across this not too long ago. Um, Toin, I'm sorry, Token Sniffer actually has tracked 42,071 tokens and 2,250 scams or hacks as of June 16th. Um, and what they do is they kind of um, give you, a, they do analysis on different kinds of coins, um, any of the trendy tokens, the newest tokens, and they also list the latest scams and hacks. And if you click on any of these, they can tell you this, this token has been flagged due to evidence of a bug hacker scam. Um, and this is actually the exploit that's being, um, that's being scammed, I guess you can say. Um, checks the audit, it's not sellable. So again, it is a honeypot. So you'll get rug pulled, um, contract sources verified. Um, it just does, you know, liquidity pull not file and doesn't have any liquidity. So these are just all things that you wanna check out first. So this is a great first checker, but then again, um, I like to use this first and then do all of my manual research after it to see if it kind of um, coincides with what Token Sniper is saying. I think it's really important that you do your due diligence and really do your own research if you're really going to be investing your own money into um, these coins. These are really huge investments. They can make a lot of money, but then at the same time, you can also lose a lot of money. So again, do your due diligence, follow the checklist, and um, you know, really just um, figure out what is your you know what you should be investing in. So going back, that is a wrap. That's pretty much the checklist that I really have. Um, as we mentioned earlier, uh, the things, the steps that we want to cover are when looking for the next, you know, coin to invest in. We want to make sure that we're checking the liquidity of the pool, checking if the liquidity is locked. Is there any volume in the market? Are there any whales? Is the team docked? And of course, we want to use the honeypot checker to see if it is actually a honeypot. Keep in mind that newer and relatively less hyped projects may not have the coverage of established altcoins, but they could still be hidden gems. When using the checklist ab above, it is important to view it holistically. Keep in mind that not all shit coins and scam coins are you know, bad. They can mean potential gains in the future. We mentioned that before. They could be slight, slow starting and you know build that momentum and then they start getting that coverage. We've all seen it with you know Dogecoin. We've seen it with Sigma. We've seen all these. Um, there's also always a potential to make you know some gains off of a scam coin too. Just you want to make sure that you're doing these little checks to can make sure that you can sell your coins at the time when you want to. That's pretty much a wrap, and that's pretty much all that I have for this first workshop. Um, you know, make sure that you guys are um, logging in um, to Telegram, to our Telegram for any info and announcements for future workshops. We'll be doing these, you know, once a week um, with the help of the community. We'll be choosing which topics you guys want us to cover, and any pre recorded uh, workshops that you may have missed can always be reviewed on our website at www.coolcoins.com. Thank you again for all joining and for more info, follow our socials. Bye guys.